guys. Make sure you watch this deep camera, okay? Let's not walk in front of that deep camera. Thank you. This is 1950, and it's, it's beautiful. It took a while, but the game of their lives is finally at a movie theater near you. A couple of years ago, a Hollywood film crew came to this neighborhood, The Hill, and transformed it back to the year 1950. Game of Their Lives is a movie about the American soccer team back in 1950 that astonished the world by winning the World Cup, and four of the players were from The Hill. Now, the original plan was to film the movie in Canada, but in the long run, it just seemed to make more sense to film a movie about St. Louis in St. Louis. The director, uh, David Anspaugh, was very keen on shooting here, and um, the fact that SARS happened in Toronto when it did was, um, we were afraid that we would endanger the cast and the crew, and so we decided, you know, St. Louis became the city, so we just had to make it work. Not only did it turn out that St. Louis looks more like St. Louis than Toronto, the filmmakers decided it looked enough like New York to shoot those scenes here too. The architecture is our biggest selling point because we can double for other cities. Uh, we have a look that, um, you know, has somewhat remained unchanged over the years. Not many films are shot in St. Louis, so the creative community, both professional and amateur, jumped at the chance to get involved. The person in front of you says a number, you say the next number. We're trying to figure out how many people are here. When an open call for extras was announced, more than 7,000 people stood in a line that wrapped around the Shaw School to audition for roles as extras. I drove up here and I didn't even know where the line started or ended. And so <laughs> we just followed everybody where everyone was pointing. The end of the line's over there. The glitter, the glamour, that once in a lifetime shot at minimum wage and a good chance of ending up on the cutting room floor. To be a part of history and, you know, how St. Louis getting there and and to be a part of that, because Hollywood is what definitely our, our nation is very much built on. Over 2,000 extras were cast and given 1950s clothes and 1950s haircuts. Separate casting was conducted for actors who could really play the game, and St. Louis's soccer savvy proved to be another advantage. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. We were involved in the, in the soccer casting. I think six... 600 or so people showed up at the soccer field and that was awesome. It was really, it was very impressive to see, you know, what great players we had here in St. Louis. Film crews can be 800 pound gorillas when they come to town, particularly when they close off streets, reroute traffic, and redesign your neighborhood to look like it did 50 years ago. Most St. Louisans seem to take it all in stride. In LA, for instance, when you encounter a crew shooting a movie, it, it's People are very blasé about it and not particularly interested and also not particularly tolerant of any inconvenience that it, that it causes. And here people have been much more tolerant and friendly and, and um, gracious. Movies are great for local economies. Of course, actors and technicians love them, but they also pump a lot of money into hotels, restaurants, and create a lot of jobs for people working in the trades. It's the largest project that's been here. Um, I mean, Hollywood comes to town and they're, they're spending, uh, 20, they quoted $27 million, you know, here in our city. We've hired some drivers for transportation department. We've hired people in all departments, um, in the uh, art department, in construction, in sound, and, you know, we've hired people in all the various departments, wardrobe. I think the most important thing is how, wh what happens when the production leaves, you know, the, the feedback about how St. Louis worked with them. Um, so far, I, I think people have bent over backwards. They're very complimentary. Everything's a good thing. From City Hall to the police department, um, everybody has, has been on target. They understand the film. So it's an education for St. Louis. And a source of hope that maybe Hollywood will come back to St. Louis a town that typically offers its show business folk a life of ups and downs, feasts and famines. This kind of a role in a film is the reason that I think all of us got into acting to begin with. To play in a feature film that's going to be theatrical release, nationwide, it's going to have a theme that's uplifting, that's the kind of movie that people will say, that's my favorite movie.